does does say for instance I have a commercial building and I sell it off, does that contract follow the the new owners or does it follow me or how does that work? Sure. Well, it, it can either, but mostly the vast number of situations like that, it would be sold and be part of the sale to the new owner. Now that is good and bad in the situation by which if you have a piece of equipment on top of your roof, it's generating revenue, increases the value of your building, so you can sell the building for more. That's great. Right. But if you enter into an agreement per se, let's say I use this example with property owners, or building owners more particularly, I say, look at your current agreement. Let's say I walked up, knocked on your door tomorrow, and you're leasing space on top of your rooftop to Verizon. I knock on your door. I want to buy your building. I say, Brandon, I'll offer you 10 times market value of your property. Sounds great, right? Hey, you'd be interested. I have one condition, Brandon. I need Verizon to move their equipment 10 feet on your rooftop. 90 plus percent of all agreements out there do not provide a relocation situation by which if I want to buy your building and I want just to move some stuff around and I was going to offer you 10 times market value and all I want is Verizon to move that equipment 10 feet, you couldn't do it. You're the mercy of that tenant. Okay. And so, so you have to really look at this and where a cell site company, a cell tower company comes in or a wireless carrier comes in, they get you to focus on that money for nothing. And also, hey, we're just using this area over here you're not using. They de minimize the impact. Right. So it is very important that you understand exactly what uh, you're getting into, because especially with people in the real estate industry, it's some of the toughest clients we have because it's like saying, hey, they're great baseball players. They play baseball every day. They're great. They're professionals at it but they're being asked to play football. Some of those skills translate, right. but, but the guy that plays football every day, he's going to beat you. Right. Oh, yeah, and that's what, that's what these cell tower companies do. That's what the wireless carriers do. They play football every day and they're asking you to play a different game and, and they get you to feel comfortable with it and your ego kind of takes over and that's where <laughs> they get you.